Hello everybody, it's Mary from Yard Art R Us. Going to be working on a couple of things tonight, give you guys a chance to kind of get caught up, get in here. Wondering if you guys have had a good day. I've had a pretty good day so far, not too bad. I um, did a whole bunch of stuff today, so it's kind of one of those good days, you know, where you feel like you got a lot of stuff done, so that was good. So tonight we're gonna be, I'm gonna be doing a couple of things. I'm gonna just talk about this guy for a minute. I did, uh, what I did with him is I went ahead and I base coated him all white. Then I came and added the yellow and then I did the black. Now the reason I did the white first is because anytime I have a yellow, I typically always will put a white under the yellow uh, because I have a hard time getting a yellow to look really good if it doesn't have a white under it. So I base coated it white, put on the black, put on the yellow. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of white highlights and uh, I'm gonna move on because it's not a very difficult one, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys what I've done on the bumblebee. So I'm putting some white paint in here, putting some uh, water to go with it and kind of stirring it a little bit. And all I really have to do at this point with my little bumblebee, since he's pretty simple. Hey Ash, hey Debbie, how are you? Let's see, Debbie says, everyone please share it in your Facebook. Yes, Ashley. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of white on this bumblebee. He's super cute and he's super simple. So he's one of those that I don't think we need to spend a whole lot of time on. There's a few of them tonight I'm gonna to spend a little more time on. So I would just put some highlights over here on each of my little um, black polka dots. And I would come over here again, you know, just kind of putting, giving it what I would consider a little bit of personality. So I'm gonna do that, that. And I might even come in here and put a little bit of my shading yellow. Just a little bit. You never know what I'm gonna do. But this guy's really cute and uh, he's not really difficult. So we're not, I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time, but I wanted to show you a little bit of what he might look like. And um, see if you guys uh, think he's cute. I think he's cute. So, all right, gonna put a little bit of black on here. And I just kind of, I've got this script liner. That's what I use all the time, all the time. So I'm kind of coming up here. And notice my strokes. I'm not worried about my strokes being really, really even or pretty. The whole point is it does look uh, handmade and home, homemade, handmade, however you want to say that. So your strokes don't have to be perfect. Now I am going to kind of come in here in these little lines and just put, put a little more black in here. Kind of evening up this part. That's all I'm doing. Putting a little bit of black in there. Like so. There we go. So I spent my day on the phone with a lot of technical people doing, um, oh, what do you call it, tech support? Yeah. I got a lot of work done, but they talked a lot up over my head using terms that I really didn't know what they were talking about. But hey, you know, I live and learn. I'm trying to learn how to put in a uh, point of sale system at our store. Ooh, they talk over my head a lot, but I keep asking questions until I understand. So I spent a lot of my day on the phone today, which was really not fun, but at least it was productive. I feel like it was. I'm starting to learn. So no matter what you do in life, you always have to learn something new. All right, that's the way it seems like I'm doing it. Okay, so I've got my little bumblebee. I haven't spent a lot of time on him, but I think he's pretty simple, but I think he's super cute. So, just to re re recap, I started with white, put white over the whole thing. Then I put my black, and then I put my yellow, let that dry, and I just come back and put a little bit of a, a script liner in black, and then some white highlights and some yellow and white highlights on the yellow. That's it. I think he's super cute. It's one of my favorites. All right. Let me show you something else. I think I actually have the camera turned correctly, thanks to Debbie and everybody else helping me out. <laughs> This is something um, we showed maybe about a month ago. I, I don't know, something like that. I haven't had a chance to really do much with it. So today I kind of started looking at it. And now when I look at this, I like what I've done, but he, this looks very mono, monochromatic, right? So I decided to do gray, and then I went ahead and decided to do the darker gray and black letters. So here's what I'm gonna do. 
I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some gray shading on here, and then we're going to come in here and make these circles, our stars, a different color. We've got to have some kind of color on here. But my hero, my hero wears combat boots and dog tags. Okay, so what I would do is I took my gray, my same gray that I have right here, and I just put some black in it. So a lot of times, if you're buying paint and you need a little bit of a shade, sometimes you can just get away with not having to buy another color. Just put a little bit of black. That doesn't work on things like yellow or orange. I don't recommend that. But it would work on a gray, I mean on a, a, a red. You could take your red and put some black in them, then you'd have some shading red. So um, that's all I did for these letters. I just put some black on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, now typically we would think of uh, shading would be something you do before you finish all your base coating colors. In this case, I'm gonna kinda go against the grain a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just shade a little bit here just kind of coming in here, I'm just shading some of that gray. Why am I shading this before I'm doing the stars on the base color? Because this is kind of a little bit of space in there. And so I want to make sure my shading looks good across those stars, going from, well, actually going from one star to the next. The shading, I don't really want it on the star, but it's kind of getting on the star and that's okay. It's no big deal, I'm gonna come back and cover that up. So if you look, all I did is I just put a little bit of shading on here. And so I'm, I'm, I did my brush this way, laid it that way. So I'm going to turn it and just kind of angle it a little different and kind of come back here and just put some little wisp on there. That's all I'm doing. This is what I say, giving it a little bit of personality. That's all I'm doing, okay? So I got that where I want it. I think I'm okay with that. What I'm going to do, because I think this guy needs color. So I'm going to take my finger, I'm going to kind of, Get that shading off the star because I want to color my stars a certain color. So, hey Jennifer, how are you? I saw your text a little earlier, sweetie. I just didn't get to uh, respond. I was saying a little earlier, I've been on the phone with tech support all day trying to figure out how to do a, a point of a sales system at the store because as y'all know, for so many years at the store, well, I hate to say this, we just got a cash register maybe about three years ago. Before that, we had a butter dish, and we kept our money in a butter dish. So, um, we're moving on up, y'all. <laughs> so, we, uh, it's, it's a lot to learn, but I need to do it. So, uh, that's what I've been doing all day with tech support people, but on the phone. So, here's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to do... I like the idea of doing my stars in red, white, and blue. Obviously, you could do any color you want. It really doesn't matter. And because I think about red, white, and blue, I'm gonna do red, white, blue. And I think I'll do red, white, blue, okay? And then, I think I'm gonna have to go with a white star at the top. We'll see, we'll see what I do. So, I'm going to put a little bit of paint on here. And I'm gonna get a mop brush. Let's see. Well, tell you what, since this is a small area, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna use a mop brush. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a kind of a, this is a round brush. It says it's a number 16. So I'm gonna use that and the gray, I'm gonna cover up this gray with the red. And that's gonna look really good because sometimes when you're trying to get red to cover up a color, it won't. But red, if you've got a gray under your red, your red's gonna look really good. So we're good to go on that. And all I'm gonna do is put some paint on here. And you know that I always paint my edges the same color as I paint the top. So I'm gonna paint the edges like this. And um, just putting, I'm putting quite a bit of paint on there. I don't know if you can actually see how much I'm getting on there from where you're at. But I'm gonna put some paint on there. Now, if you look, my lines are not perfect because I've got a little bit of space here and my lines are not gonna be perfect, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make them perfect later on when I uh, shade and highlight that. So I'm gonna put a little bit of color on here. So we're gonna do red, red, white, blue. Let's come over here and let's do some. Red. The thing about this thing, uh, when I'm painting it, you gotta be careful, it's got all these stars. You can poke yourself. I did that the other day and I was like, man, that hurt. So, Putting some red in here. 
Y'all, I have to say, I don't know how many years I've painted, but it's been a long time. But it's still cool. Still a good thing to do. Still nice. Still like it. That's awesome. I've really been enjoying, you guys are posting your uh, projects on uh, the painters group. It has been so, so cool. When I, I was at the shop yesterday and a lady came in and she said, oh, Mary, my son, he painted a, a truck that we got from y'all. And she said he had such a good time. And uh, she said, I was so excited for him because he just really was proud of himself. And that's what it's all about, y'all. That's what it's all about letting the kids do stuff that they can take pride in and, you know, kind of gives them a sense of accomplishment and then they get to show off their artwork. So, all right, so I'm gonna put some white on here. Okay. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm putting quite a bit of paint on here. One thing about my style, and everybody's got their own style, I'm not shy with the paint. I've always been like that. I've always put a lot of paint on. Sometimes, honestly, I get too much on there, and I have to kind of come back and work it off a little bit. But when you look at the, the pieces that I make, you know, I don't, I always like for my stuff to have very, very good coverage. Everything to be covered really, really well. And um, you guys know that Louise, she's passed away now, but she she passed away in january but for years she ran the place and i would go over there and bring my stuff and she would always laugh and say man mary when you show up no matter what you bring it's got a lot of color on it I said, yeah it's me so i like to put a lot of color on things so i've got some white so already you can see my piece is starting to get what i would consider just a little bit of personality because it was looking awfully gray although i like the gray we're gonna to have to do something with this to put a little bit of personality on it. And honestly, I won't finish this tonight. I'll probably bring this back on, it's today. Today, Wednesday, I don't know what day it is. It's Tuesday? Well, whatever day it is. Uh, I think Ashley's doing a live tomorrow. So I'll come back on the next day and finish this guy. But I wanted you to see kind of where I was going with this. But I have so much paint on here, it's not gonna be something I can finish tonight, but that's okay. I've got some other things up my sleeve tonight that we can, that we, I think we can finish. All right. Just putting a lot of paint on there. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and make this one the top white. And kind of bring some paint over here so I can get my edges. All righty. Okay, well, I look, I made a boo-boo, y'all, so that's just the way it goes, huh? I'll fix that later. If I, if I don't like that white, if that's too thick, I'll come back and put some gray on top of it, no big deal. So what I did, just so you know, I base coated this thing gray, the whole thing gray, and then once that was dry, I went ahead and did my letters in black, and then I took a little black paint and put the gray paint in the black paint and did my Hero Wears and the darker gray, which is what I would call my shading gray. Yeah. So when I need a shading gray, I just always put black in there is what I do. Okay. So bringing that paint, I got a little bit too much, but that's okay. I'm going to come over here and do it on my sides. Hopefully you guys can see. Yay, I'm almost done with my base coating on here, and then I've got to put my blue stars on, and that'll be it. Yeah, so I'm going to wash out my brush a little bit, and I'm going to put blue on here. Actually, what I'm using is called Brilliant Blue, um, and I haven't done it yet, but I've got all my, uh, I will post this tonight. I made a uh, Excel spreadsheet of every color we have, the name of the color. And I uh, did a sample of the color right there by the name. And I just went and got it laminated at Copy Doctor a little while ago. 
I'm going to, uh, I need to shake this up. I'm going to scan that as a PDF and put it on the website. And I think if you guys saw Ashley's video today, she spent on her machine, it took her four hours of machine time, but she got it done. She made a big sign. I don't know, maybe two foot by four foot, something like that. And what she did is she wrote the name of the color. Every color now has a name, a number. So for example, I think number one is sky blue. So she wrote sky, number one, then she wrote sky blue. And uh, she put that on a big board. It was all uh, carved out today. Then tomorrow she's gonna paint it. So sky blue will also obviously have the color sky blue on it. And it'll have a number. So when you come to the shop and you buy paint, you're gonna to get to look at what I've done as far as my little my piece of paper, my Excel spreadsheet, and you're gonna look at the big sign that Ashley's made. You guys were telling us that you know y'all were getting confused about the paint, so we had to come up with a way to make that um, a little bit more doable. We did we do have uh, I think it's 35 colors. I didn't realize we had that many, uh, but I, this palette I've had for I've worked on for. 25 years so I mean it's a long time that I've had them it's taken me a while but that palette that we have we do have 35 colors but that's going to take you through the whole year through the, every season that would be fall Thanksgiving Halloween Christmas Valentine's Day spring uh, Easter July 4th all that so I didn't, I didn't realize we had that many colors and uh, to Ashley and I were talking about it and to me it was very easy right but I've been doing this a long time. So I could see, because we did realize we have seven different blues, seven different shades of blue. That's a lot of blue. So uh, people were getting confused and I, and I could kind of say, oh, okay, well, somebody pointed out, well, you have seven blues, so it is confusing. So I'll post that um, Excel spreadsheet that I made. And then I'll, I actually will also be hanging that sign up this weekend at the shop. So between those two, we're going to give some structure to the color. So hopefully it won't be so confusing. All right, so I'm not gonna be able to finish this guy tonight, but I just kind of wanted to give you an idea of what I would do. You could do anything, and you guys have done some really, uh, some of the things we painted, you guys have gone a totally different direction and I love it. So this is my Hero Wears Combat Boots and Dog Tags. Not finished, but we'll finish this, uh, say maybe Friday. I think that's the day. Okay, I did want to show you something I think I can finish tonight. It's one of my favorites, okay? So it's a cross. I already have another one that I face coated, and so I wanted to be able to finish something tonight. And um, so this is the finished piece. Okay. So here's what I'm gonna do. All I'm gonna do, all I need to do tonight is to do some shading, that's all, okay? So we're gonna do a little bit of shading. Now, I, I, hadn't, I don't know if you guys have noticed, I really haven't spent a lot of time on live videos doing base coating because that's pretty easy. I think if anybody's gonna have trouble, typically it's gonna be on the shading and or maybe the outlining. So um, I uh, have not really spent a lot of time base coating because I don't really think it, you know, that's not too hard. Now, what I would do on this case, I have a, a yellow cross as my background. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do some shading on this guy. And I'm going to do the shading first. There's not a lot because I've got so much covered up. And the reason I'm going to do it first is I want that shading to be here. So when I come back and lay outline on top of it, we're good to go. Because that's typically what you do. You're going to shade and outline will be one of the last things you do. So I just kind of follow uh, the out outer cut right here. And I'm just going to kind of put shading wherever there's some yellow. Now there's not a whole lot on here because with this is kind of a busy, it's busy, busy, but I think it's super cute. So I'm gonna do some shading here. I'm gonna do some shading here. I'm gonna go here, down here, to here. Now one thing you might try, if you're trying shading and you're getting um, uh, frustrated or it's difficult, uh, couple of things about that. One thing I used to do when I was first learning how to shade, and uh, I think it took me, I think I sat down for about a week, and just that's all I did over and over and over. If you don't like what you've done in shading, what I would suggest is leave it 
shade it, you know, and you say you don't like it, leave it alone, let it dry. You can even get a hair dryer if you're in a hurry or come back the next day or whenever and shade over your shading again. Because oftentimes when I look at what people are doing, they're just not getting enough paint on there. That's the hardest part is getting enough paint. So uh, if, you, if you're doing shading and you're getting frustrated and you don't like it and you think it's ugly or whatever the case may be, leave it alone, let it dry, and come back and shade directly on top of it. Don't, don't wipe it off because most often it's gonna look better when you get a little more paint on top of it, okay? So I'm happy with that shading. I'm gonna leave that alone. And that, what I was doing on the yellow is called shading yellow. That's what I was doing. Now, this color is a coral. And what I like on the coral, to me, what looks good, is I'm gonna go with a shading orange. This is an outline orange, so I need to find my shading orange. Because I will outline this in the outline orange. So, this is my shading orange. So I'm gonna come in here. Now sometimes you'll see me do this to a brush. I'm probably the only person on the planet that does that. You're really not supposed to do that. I'm doing that to make that brush fan out. I want my bristles to fan out like that. I don't want my bristles all stuck together. You can't shade if your bristles are like that. That's not gonna work. So sometimes what I do is I try to take this and I'll set it on the table and I'll just fan those bristles out. In fact, Ashley and I were talking the other day, the very best time the, the very uh, most favorite shading brush is one that's probably like two years old. This one's a new one, so I'm breaking it in. And uh, it's a little, it's kind of like a pair of tennis shoes. You really like them after they get broke in. And I'm just going on this coral and I'm putting some shading orange on my coral. That's all I'm doing. Kind of, in this case, I'm gonna go around the perimeter like so. And like I said, I really like this cross. It's kind of simplistic, but it's super cute. And I might just pick it up and kind of give it some wisp here, okay? And I also might come back in here just to follow along. All I'm doing is kind of following what I did with that shading yellow. That's all I'm doing. Kind of coming in here, doing that. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to come over here. And I'm gonna put some shade on it. Okay, that's all I'm doing. That's all I need there. So uh, if you notice in a lot of your shading colors, you won't need a lot of those. I mean, you won't need a. You'll need them, but you won't need a large amount of paint because a little bit goes a long way when you're shading. You're not putting a lot of paint on there. Now, if you're base coating, that's different. You're gonna need more paint. So this is the sky blue what it is yeah it's the sky blue so what I'm going to use and again I think we said we have seven yellow uh, blue I think I'm going to use some teal and if I don't like it that's okay let's see let's see if I'm going to like that uh, not feeling it the reason I'm not feeling that is I don't have quite enough difference so I'm going to take a little bit of brilliant blue and I'm just going to put a little bit of this in there I have a bunch of these little taster spoons. What am I doing? I'm just kind of putting this in here because I want a darker blue. And again, it's not a lot of paint, y'all. It's just a little bit. Let me wipe off some of that. All right, okay, let's try this. See if I like this. Okay, I got a little bit more blue on there. Yeah, I'm a little bit better with that. Now, what I would do probably is I would shade these blue petals and I would kind of come back in here like that. Nothing really difficult. But if you like to paint, if you like, um, you know, do you go out to our shop or you like the style that we do, our, I basically say, here's what it is. Our style is straight color book painting. You know, you think about it when you're a kid and you're, you know, color book. This is straight color book painting with shading, highlighting, and um, outlining. That's all it is. So color book painting, shade, highlight, outline. That's all it is. And yes, Ashley would go and take my brushes even though she knew she was, I would forbid her. You know how that would go. I know one day we were all in here and I said, hey Ashley, where have you been getting your brushes? Because we were having trouble as usual getting brushes. Y'all know our little saga about that. She goes, oh, I just come in here and get them from you. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's your kid. You know, you know it's your kid when they do that. That's what they do to moms. But that's all right. That's how it's supposed to be. So I'm putting a little bit of shade here. Uh, now I'm looking at this and I like what I have so far. But just a little curiosity, I might like, and if I don't like it, I won't do it, but we're gonna see. So my orange that's on the coral, I like it, but I don't know that it's quite dark enough. So what I'm gonna take, this is some outline orange. I'm putting some outline orange on top of that uh, shading orange. And you don't have to do this, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I like this. I'm gonna kinda come back over that and I'm gonna give it some more color. Why am I doing that? Because I've, I've just eyeballing this shading orange and to me, I don't have quite enough difference in color. So again, I'm not gonna spend very much time on this. I'm just gonna kinda come in. You can kinda see, what am I doing? I'm giving it some color. I'm putting a little bit more red in there, if you will. Two, like that, like that. Yeah, oh, I like this better. Mm. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, still using that outline orange. I'm gonna pick up my script liner. So those of you, I'd like to encourage you, if you've been painting and you wanna learn how to paint, you wanna kinda of keep on going. Uh, I think basically, if you, do, if you stay after two things, if you stay after the shading, if you do that, uh, you can't go wrong. I was probably, this would have been maybe the late 90s. I still wasn't shading. And my mother-in-law came down one day, she lived in Fort Worth, and she was such a great painter, 10 times better than me. And she walked in in my art room and she goes, okay, today we're gonna learn how to shade. I'm like, what, what, I don't know how to shade. I don't do shading, I don't know how to do that. Uh, and she said, no, no, you're gonna learn how to shade. I can teach you, I can teach you. I was like, okay. And of course she's over here, you know, making everything look so easy. And I'm like, but um, you know how it is with your mother-in-law. You gotta kind of do what they say. I wasn't feeling it at the time, but I wasn't gonna be disrespectful. And I, you know, she was trying to help me and she did many things to help me. So I was gonna play, I was gonna be a good sport. And uh, so she kind of talked me into it and uh, she was right, you know, of course she was right. You know, she was such a great artist and uh, she is, she passed away in 2006, so she's not been here for a long time. But oftentimes I wish she was still here because uh, I could call her when I got stuck. And I'd say, I don't know what to do. And she would say, you know, send me a picture, let's look at it. And she would always help me out, you know. And uh, so she really kind of got after me one day and said, now you're gonna learn to shade. So I was like, oh, okay. And of course she was right. And uh, so I did that. Now, I don't know if I told you guys, but when we first started painting, Bruce would get a um, paint marker and he would do all of my outlining because I didn't know how to outline with this script liner. I didn't know how to do that. So um, he would do all of my outlining, you know. And um, about a year later, after the little shading incident with my mother-in-law, she came in and she goes, oh, your shading looks so good. Now you're gonna learn how to outline. And I'm like, outline? I, what are you talking about? I, just, I, you know, I barely got the shading part down, you know? And of course she was right. And um, so I think if you wanna learn to paint in this kind of style, if you will stay after the shading and the outlining, that's all, then, then, you, then you got it. You got it, you're good to go. That's really uh, the, the, the thing you gotta worry about mastering. Uh, so. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm outlining using what I call a script liner. I think that's what the stores call it. And uh, some some of you may be using paint markers because you know you just haven't gotten the whole thing of the outlining down, and that's okay. But don't give up on on the outlining. You got to practice, practice. And if it makes you feel any better, I've been painting for I don't know how many years, and there's I just signed up for a class, uh, an online group. Um, hopefully I'm going to learn how to do decent lettering. Of course, I know how to do what I know how to do, but there's a lot of things in lettering I don't know how to do. And, um, but you know what? I bet I can learn. Yeah. Yeah, Ashley said Bama was brilliant. Mm -hmm. She really was. She, uh, 
she was such a unique person. She could take something that cost $5 and make it look like $500. I don't know. I don't know how she did it, but she did. And uh, she would just love, love, love the fact that Ashley's painting, you know. And I've often, Bruce and I have often discussed that we wish she was here so, we could, so she could see Ashley painting. Because she never really got to see that part, you know. Uh, she had, she was really sick for a long time, so uh, she, she uh, really struggled with uh, breast cancer. So, but she taught me a lot, and uh, I think the biggest thing is that she was just an encourager. You know, she did teach me a lot, but uh, that's why I like the Facebook with, like, with you guys watching me paint. Um, if you want to learn how to paint, then, you know, you can watch me, and you, you can say, okay, well, she did it this way, or let me try it, or practice, or however you want to say it. Because I didn't have that. I was, I was here by myself. And, of course, my mother-in-law would answer the phone. And I'd be like, I need help. I need help. And, you know, that, so I'm grateful that I had that. But since she was in Fort Worth, uh, you know, it wasn't like she was down here that often. And uh, so uh, a lot of times I just like the idea of, you know, bouncing ideas off somebody. And believe it or not, as long as I've painted, I want you guys to know this, that there are still things that I do that end up in the trash can that I don't like or I just repaint over it or whatever the case is. So even though I've painted a long time, I don't think you ever know it all or I don't think you ever get to the point where everything flows ever on, on every project easily. I still have projects that I'm thinking, mm, I'm not too pleased with that. But uh, I always think about Bruce's mom because she was the kind of person I could call her and we could talk about colors, you know, chocolate brown, shading brown, and we would talk for 30 minutes, you know, about color which was kind of cool. Uh, so, uh, it's nice to have somebody in your corner, your cheerleader or somebody to bounce ideas off of, that kind of thing. Ashley and I, you know, she would call me and say, Mom, this is not working. Or I'll call her and we're like, okay, what are we gonna do? You know, just really nice. And that's what I've enjoyed about the Painters Club. There's been so many things that I've liked but one thing that I, I really, 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 really liked is seeing what you guys do and, and displaying out in the yard. Uh, and, you know, just I love being your cheerleader and saying, yes, you can do it. You can do it. Uh, I had a girl message me a couple, uh, I think it's about last week, and she said, Mary, you said on, your, uh, on one of your live videos that this is a skill that can be taught. And she said, uh, I had an art teacher years ago that told me I didn't have any talent, so I just gave up. And I was like, are you kidding? Who does that? Of course you can, you have talent. And so I really tried to encourage her because uh, this is a skill that can be taught if you want to learn. You know, if, hey, painting ain't your thing and you just want to hang out with us because we have cheery dispositions, that's cool too. <laughs> oh, y'all, I cracked myself up. Uh, but yeah, that's the cool thing about, one thing that I really like about social media is that we get to kind of hang together and bounce ideas off of each other. And like the customer that was in there yesterday said, oh, my son, he painted this and he was just so excited. And I was like, yep, that's what it's about. That is what it's about. Okay, so I think I like what I have. So what I'm gonna do, I want you to take a look at this. I'm gonna hold it up to the camera here. And as much as I like what I've done, and I do like what I've done, I'm not done yet. So when you look at this, I think it looks pretty good. But I want you to look at what I'm going to do now. And this makes a difference. I think I told y'all when I first went out to uh, the place that we're at now, when Roger and Louise owned it, they, there, I was the ninth artist at the time. When I showed up, there was nine artists. And uh, so, you know, we would kind of bounce ideas off of each other. And people would say, I want my stuff to look like yours. And I would always tell them, well, you have to shade because there was a lot of them that didn't want to do that because it's kind of a pain to learn, you know. And uh, But look at what I'm doing. You're I'm putting white on here, always. And if you go out to our shop and you see stuff that Ashley and I do, typically you're always going to see a lot of white on there. And I think it's, I like it because I think it just gives a lightness, uh, a brightness and a lightness. You cannot go wrong having highlighting. I, I don't think. That's just my opinion. Uh, so all I'm doing right now is putting some white on here. That's it. Okay, maybe some white dots or some white lines or some what I call wisp, but that's all I'm doing. And uh, I think that m does make a difference. So a lot of them would ask me, what do you, how do I, what can I do to make this look better? I would say make sure you shade and make sure you put white highlights on there. 
There you go. So now that I have the white on here, I'm gonna be a happier camper. Let me make sure. And all I did, what did that take me, y'all? Didn't take me long at all, did it? I don't know. 20 seconds, 30 seconds, whatever it was. And that's all it took me. No big deal. Okay? So here we go. So there is my floral cross. I love it. I think it's super cool. Wanted y'all to see that. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do on Friday. Hey, Ashley, today's Wednesday, right? So you're doing something tomorrow. I think Ashley's on here tomorrow. So I started on this. I'm going to, show, I'm going to finish this up on Friday with you guys. Uh, it's called Hello Summer. It's really, really cute. So I'm going to put this on here for Friday. So y'all show up on Friday at 7. And I'm going to finish this one. But y'all keep the pictures coming. We love them. We like seeing them. Uh, I want to encourage you, if you want to learn to paint, keep following us. Keep doing the shading. I know it might seem, uh, you know, oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm doing. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. And keep using that script liner, and then you are there. That's really all it is. Learning to shade and learning the script liner, you're there. You're 100% there. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I've enjoyed talking to y'all tonight. And uh, Ashley will be on tomorrow. She says she's doing the camper great hey Kimberly how are you uh, so she's doing that tomorrow and I'll be back on here Friday and we'll finish up my heroes my hero wears combat boots and we'll finish up hello summer y'all have a good one we'll see you later <laughs>